Hey, Michael Thibault here, Dunphy Marketing Systems, and I have a confession, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, I know you know the situation right now with your staff and what's going on, and the federal government stipend ran out this week, but I don't think you're magically going to get all these highly qualified staff that left when the pandemic hit running back to your businesses right now with open arms going, I'm ready to work, here I am, hire me. I just don't think that's reality. And we all know that one of the hardest things, if not the hardest thing in running a business and being a small business owner is staff and employees, right? And I confess, when I had my restaurants uh, and even this business, staffing is a huge thing. It's very difficult. You got to be able to find the right ones. You got to be able to attract them. You got to be able to hire them. You got to be able to retain them, make sure they're doing the correct thing. And I know so many of you, uh, especially in the restaurant business, have been struggling with this right now. And I can, I had a really rough time with this when I had my restaurants. Uh, so I had six restaurants and a catering company over a 25 year time span. And at one point we had up to 300 employees. And I confess, it was really, really hard. It was probably the most stressful time in my entire life um, having that much staff because staff are like your children, right? And I know for a lot of you, uh, you feel that way because you know you're working 75, 80 hours a week at, at your business, um, and you know you're sometimes you spend more time with your staff than you do with your family. They see you more than your family does, and especially right now with the pandemic and being short staffed, and it just it really makes me angry and it hurts uh, when now you you know we manage a lot of um, online reviews Google Yelp advisor uh, uh, TripAdvisor um, you know different review sites mainly for restaurants we do other uh, businesses as well but mainly for restaurants and I know a lot of you are struggling right now with staff and sometimes you have to shut down because you gotta just give yourself a break or you're burning your staff out so, you know, during the week, you're shutting down these random days and you let people know through your social media and other venues, uh, but occasionally you might miss one. So one of our clients, and I know these people, and they are been with me for so long, and they're one of our favorite clients, um, and they do a really, really good job. And 99.9% you know, .9 of the time, their reviews are awesome, five stars. But, you know, this happens like last week. They had a shutdown last week, Thursday, because they didn't have enough staff. And, you know, someone comes in and I get it, like they, they just want their food, they want it when they want it, how they want it. Um, they don't care if your suppliers, you know, weren't able to get a delivery to you or the cost of your supplies are going up or you don't have staff. They show up, they want the food, you're closed, they get upset and they go on the review sites and they tear you up and they tell all their friends, right? So real quick, I'm just going to read this to you. It was on Yelp. So they left them one star. If you're going to be closed on a random day, Thursday, you should make sure your website indicates that. Five explanation points, really? Many people, including me, arriving very agitated, explanation point. Not good business. Another five explanation points. I heard lots about these donuts and was so excited to try, but now will never be the case. I will never visit this place again. I mean, that hurts, right? I, I mean, these people take such good care of their customers and do such a wonderful job. And then you see something like this because it's tough right now. And you got to go out and aggressively get the staff to be able to run your business. And it's not going to get any easier. I don't think it's like someone flipped a switch this week and people are running back into your uh, restaurant to, you know, to start working again. Um, so what can you do about it? Well, what can we do about it? Because I have a vested interest in your success. I mean, you know, if you don't make it, that's one less client, you know, or possible client for us. So I, and I have a special affiliation for the restaurant industry because I know how hard it is. And, you know, I did it for so many years. So what can we do to help? I'm doing a, a free web class because you're on our list. Thank you, by the way, for that. Uh, next Tuesday at 2 p.m., and it's all on the different things that we've discovered over the past year for helping our clients for hiring and getting staff um, because it's a three-step process, right? And then the fourth step is actually getting them to show up for the interview. So am I going to have a done-for-you solution? Of course, I always do. But there's so much great information in that 60 minutes that we've packed in with examples. 
and I know it'll help your business. I know you need the help right now finding staff. So just click the button below. You can save your seat. Um, you can see right below the video, it says save your seat. And we'll be going over all the top 13 strategies that we found that are working right now to help get staff for you and your business. Thanks so much, and I hope to see you next Tuesday. Good luck. Keep fighting the good fight.